seven days, we will learn together seven health and lifestyle topics. Meditation is an effective tool. Dhyan ke through, our unused 97% potential in mind, we can remove it from our mind. Radhe Radhe, uh, welcome everyone to the seven day yoga challenge presented by JKO India in association with JKO Naturopathy Hospital. And this is the, today is the fourth day of our seven day yoga challenge. The benefits of yoga is already proven. It's time tested. And beyond that, because in our first class only, we studied about the history of its origin and we, I learned that it was first uh, preached by Lord Shiva himself to Mata Parvati. So we cannot doubt or there's no need for uh, any other validation other than that. But when we talk about the modern scientific research into yoga's benefit, it is still somewhat in preliminary stage. But much of the evidence so far supports what we already know for millennia. Yoga is incredibly beneficial to our overall all well-being. So today let's look into a few of its scientifically, modern scientifically proven benefits. Yoga improves flexibility. In 2016, Two of yoga's leading organizations, Yoga Journal and Yoga Alliance, conducted a worldwide survey looking at a variety of statistics about yoga in an attempt to quantify its value amid ever-increasing popularity. The most cited reason people selected for doing yoga was to increase flexibility. Flexibility is an important component of physical health. We already have uh, learned about it in our, I think, day two of yoga challenge. Yoga also offer many styles to choose from varying in intensity from high to moderate to mild. Even the lowest intensity styles have been found to increase flexibility. And yoga seems to be especially helpful for improving flexibility in adult ages, 65 and older. Reduced flexibility is a natural part of aging and a 2019 study found that yoga both slowed down loss and improvement, improved flexibility in older adults. Now, after flexibility, another benefit, known benefit of yoga is strength. Uh, yoga is not only about stretching and st uh, flexibility. Yoga is also good in strength building. Yoga's effectiveness at building strength has been studied in several contexts. For instance, as it pertains to people with breast cancer, older adults, and children. Another study conducted on American Air Force personnel found yoga to be an effective strength building practice across many ages group, age groups. Now there's more, many more known benefits of yoga about which we'll be talking in coming days. But today, let's invite our uh, yoga instructor, Mr. Ganesh, to take over from here. Before we make a start, let me again reiterate some of the important instructions. I think there are some new people who have joined today only. It's very important that we remember to take precautions. If you have any pre-existing conditions such as high blood pressure or any other heart problems, please uh, avoid or reduce the intensity, reduce the count, simplify while practicing. Similarly, people with thyroid problems, hernia or peptic ulcers, and then people having any kind of joint problems, serious joint problems in the knees or shoulders or waist, or if you have any problems, serious problems with your spine, 
and people having eye pressure myopia glaucoma ear pressure problems all these people can exercise extra care while practicing it's known that uh, yoga can treat all these diseases but if you are already in chronic condition and if you are practicing a little bit rigorous it can hurt you because the body parts are weak and you have to slowly slowly build on it and uh, you know women who are into pregnancy especially two months above they can avoid again avoid or reduce the intensity and then people who are into their menstrual cycles today's exercises especially are not meant for them people who are into their menstrual cycles and people uh, women with pregnancy so you can avoid doing these exercises or reduce you know if if, if you really want to do very light you can do and during the practice don't drink water you will feel very uncomfortable and in today's practice i suggest you to wear shoes without shoes don't do it because we will be doing some jumping exercises also so it will be difficult for your joints and since we are doing core exercises today mostly the exercises are focused in this area stomach area it will be beneficial for your core muscles it will be beneficial for your digestive system it will activate the organs here the stomach spleen pancreas everything many other benefits but mainly around the core core is very important part of the body it uh, provides stability to our posture and then uh, you know mentally also you feel more confident if your core is strong the whole bare fat gets accumulated here becomes belly fat so today's exercises will help you to burn the belly fat but if since you are not practicing all this regularly you are starting today so do it slowly steadily simplify the postures wherever required if i am telling you to lift the legs all the way you may lift it little bit only right and if i am asking you to rotate the legs 10 times you may do it only 3 times 5 times depending on your physical condition so simplify modify reduce according to your condition take care of yourself with that said we will get started as usual we will start with prayer close your eyes om shri gurave namaha मन्नाथ श्री जगन्नाथ मद्गुरु श्री जगद्गुरु मदात्मासर्वभूतात्मा तस्म श्री गुरव नम कीप युअर आईज क्लोज वी विल चैंड ओंकार थ्री टाइम्स डीप एंड लॉन्ग ब्रीद इन closed again remember your goal apne laksh ko dhyan mein layenge prepare your intention also mansha bhi banayenge with that goal in mind and with that pure intention we will start with warm up neck movements griva sanchalan breathe in look up breathe out look 
down, breathe in, look up, breathe out, look down. Shwas lete lete upar dekhe, shwas chhodte chhodte niche, breathe in, look up, breathe out, look down. One more time. And let's start rotating from the right side. Breathe in, go back. Breathe out, come forward. Shwas lete lete piche jana hai aur shwas chhodte chhodte aage. Breathe in, go back. Breathe out, come forward. Continue. Four to six rounds in both the directions. Reverse. Let's prepare our body parts, our joints, system to support the practice. Remove the lethargy, the fatigue, dullness. Very good. Let's go to the shoulder rotations. Hands on your shoulders. Join both the elbows. Breathe in, take the hands up. Breathe out, bring them down. Continue, make a big circle, relieve all the stress from your shoulders. Feel free to switch on your camera to make the session lively. Reverse. Very good, let's go to the wrist. Reverse. Waist, breathe in. As you breathe out, bend forward and start rotating from the right side. Breathe in, go back. Breathe out, come forward. Continue. Four to six rounds again. Shwas lete lete piche, shwas chhodte chhodte aage, radhe, shaam, radhe, krishna, sita, ram, reverse. Pay attention to your waist. Breathe in, rise up, bring the legs forward. Keep your back straight, pull the feet backwards. Feel the stretch. Pull them forward. Back, front, back, front, back. And rotate. Reverse. Very good. Let's get up. Stand up. <clears throat> you will do high knees first. First, let's start slowly walking. Start jogging. Okay, start high knees. Ten times. Okay, heels to the hips. Side to side. Let's do jumping jacks. Okay. 
Relax. Slowly jogging. Come to rest. Observe your breath. Catch your breath. comfortably on your back. Father Uttan Asan, lifting the legs up 10 counts, but reduce the count, simplify according to your condition. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And relax. Next, we will do Father Kainchi flutter kicks. Okay, ten counts again. Let's start. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take rest. Observe what's happening. No pain, no gain. If you want to gain this wealth of health, you have to endure. Keep breathing. Next, we will do Pada Sanchalan, cycling with both the legs, but you can even do with one leg. So simplify it if required. Okay, hold your legs and start cycling, forward cycling. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse cycling. If you want to take rest, you can take rest. Otherwise, join. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Be 
these core exercises are wonderful. They even test your stamina. Okay, lift both the legs up. Straight up. We will do Pada Vrittasan, making circles with the legs. Either two legs or one leg. Do it according to what's possible for you. Let's start rotating. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reverse, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Take rest. The whole core is activated. Enjoy these postures. Keep breathing. It's very important to strengthen your core. Okay, next we will do ab crunches. Okay, for ab crunches, what you will do is lift the legs in this manner like chair, hands below the head. Okay, 10 counts again. One, two, three, four. Five, pressure on your core. Six, on stomach. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. You can increase the count if you want. With practice slowly, slowly, you can increase the count also. You feel very, very strong after this practice. Keep breathing. Next, we will do bicycle crunches. Okay, hands will remain be behind the head and what we will do is we will bring one leg for towards the chest and the alternate hand, knee, uh, elbow of the hand towards the knee like this. And then next time the other knee, the other elbow like this. Again, 10 times. Okay. So one, two, three. Let's get started. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Take rest. Feel the load on your That was bicycle crunches.
keep breathing. Breathing is very important. Constantly keep breathing. Next, we will do Naukasan. Paripurna Navasana, actually. So, we will lift the upper body and the legs a little bit more. Okay. So, you may lift them like this. You may hold them with your hands if you want. Or you may release the hands. And stay there. In this posture, you can mix Russian twist. So, like this, you can twist. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Relax. can reduce the count, you can simplify according to your physical state. With practice, you will be able to do more. Keep breathing. Next, what you can do is you can bring the knees close to the chest so in Pavan Muktasan. Bring the chin to the knees. Keep breathing. Take shallow breaths. And start rolling. Forward, backward, forward, backward. And sit comfortably. Place your hands behind the body like this. Okay, sit comfortably like this. Lean little bit backwards. Okay, thoda sa piche honge. And we will push the legs forward. One. Two. Three. All the pressure on your core. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, relax, sit comfortably in Dandasan. You may take support of your hands. Pull the feet backwards. Keep breathing. Observe your breath. Do not forget to mix devotion in your practice. Mentally keep remembering the Supreme Lord. Okay, let's turn onto the hands. Okay, we will do mountain climbing. How do we do that? What we will do is come to plank pose and then you will bring the legs like this forward. Okay. Once you will bring them straight forward, then slowly you will turn them outwards. 
then little bit more outwards again you will bring it back to the center okay let's start one two three start do it whatever possible for you Okay, take rest in Balansan. That's your breath. Rise up. Next, we will do plank. Palakasan. Okay. Very, very important posture for the core strength. So, what we will do is we will try to do it up to 60 counts. Okay. People who are motivated can go further. Okay, I'll go up to 100 count, but in the middle, if you feel you are done, you can stop there, take rest in Makarasan. Okay. Hands firm on the floor. Okay, plank pose, Falakasan. Lift your waist up, body flat. Ready? I'll give the count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, fifty, fifty more, one, two, three, four, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सिक्सटी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सेवेंटी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एटी होल्ड ऑन वन टू डोंट गिव अप थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन ninety nine eight seven six five four three two one very good let's take rest in balasan catch your breath rise up so this simple falakasan has lot of benefits physical as well as mental benefits it burns the fat like anything and it improves your stamina your determination your ability to push the limits go beyond the comfort zone so you must practice it every day and push your limit people have gone up to 9 hours records you can stay up to that much time but you can try 2 minutes 3 minutes is really wonderful okay with that we will move forward with our lessons let's do little bit of manjari breathe in look up pull your back down Breathe out. Look down. Pull your back up. Shwas lete lete upar dekhe. Shwas chhodte chhodte niche. Continue. Okay. may comfortably sit and remove your shoes now comfortably in vajrasan we will do mandukasan okay make fist thumb inside the fist place the fist below belly button breathe in and as you breathe out start bending forward dheere dheere samne jhukenge pet dabega samne dekhenge aur choti choti shwase lenge Take shallow breaths. Enjoy the pressure on your stomach. 
Keep breathing. Radhe Shyam. Radhe Shyam. Breathe in. Rise up. Let's do this one more time. Breathe in again. And as you breathe out, go down, down, little bit more. Place your chin on the floor. Take shallow breaths. Breathe in, come back. Sit comfortably in Malasana. Feet flat on the floor. Push your knees away. Sit tall, back straight, hands in Namaskar. And five, four to six breaths, mentally chanting Radhe. Krishna, Radhe, Shyam, Sita, Ram, Radhe, Shyam. Relax. Again, Bakadhyanasan, loading the hands, okay? Simple version. Place your hands firmly on the floor, fingers wide open. उंगलियों को अच्छी तरह से खोल कर हाथों को अच्छी तरह से जमीन पर रखेंगे कमर को ऊपर उठाएंगे शरीर को आगे लाएंगे हाथों पर वजन इसी अवस्था में रहेंगे बक्का ध्यान आसन वेरी सिंपल वर्जन एंड इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड हैव प्रैक्टिस ऑफ बक्का ध्यान आसन देन यू कैन गो अहेड एंड लिफ्ट योर लेग्स ऑल्सो अदरवाइज स्टे देयर वेर एवर यू आर Balance yourself. Enjoy the posture. Have this target. Relax. Let's sleep comfortably on our back. Hands wide open. हाथों को फैला देंगे दाया पैर बाए घुटने पे बाया हाथ दाए घुटने पे बाई तरफ मुड़ेंगे और दाई तरफ देखेंगे सुप्त मत्स्यन्द्रासन दाया कंधा जमीन पर ही है श्वास से जारी हर बाहर जाती श्वास के साथ और थोड़ा सा गहरा जाना है Radhe Krishna. Breathe in, come back. Straighten your leg. Let's do it on the other side. Left foot on the right knee, right hand on the left knee. Twist to the right. Look to the left. Go deeper. With every exhalation, try to go deeper. Relieves the body aches, improves your digestive system, twists the organs. Breathe in, come back. Lift both the legs up. Dono pairo ko upar uthaye. Pairo ke talve asman ki taraf. Dono pairo ko haato se pakde. Or anand balasan me. Chule. मुख पर एक हास्य स्माइल ऑन योर फेस बींग हैप्पी फॉर प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर गेटिंग द सपोर्ट ऑफ योर माइंड मेनी पीपल हैव गिवन अप टू गेट अप इन द मॉर्निंग संडे मॉर्निंग स्पेशली एंड यू हैव बीन एबल टू डू दैट विच मीन्स your mind you have developed some control over it massage your back feel happy okay
join both the feet and bring the feet close to the head as far as possible jitna ho sake utna pad nas sparshasan gardan mein koi khichav na ho no tension in the neck relax Arms open to the sky, eyes closed, feet a little apart. Deep breathing. Let's go on a journey to different parts of the body. शरीर के अंगों की यात्रा हर जगह एक गहरी श्वास याद रखें. ध्यान अपने पैरों पर, तलवों पर. Take your attention to the feet. Scan your feet with your consciousness and take a deep breath. Gehri shwas. Gradually move your attention to the knees. Dheere dheere dhyan ghutlo tak le jaye. Gehri shwas. Gradually move your attention to the waist and genitals. धीरे धीरे अपना ध्यान कमर और जननी इंद्रियों पर ले जाए गहरी श्वास अटेंशन ऑन योर स्टमक ध्यान पेट पर कंटिन्यू टू टेक डीप ब्रेथ्स हर जगह गहरी श्वासे लेते रहेंगे चेस्ट छाती गर्दन नेक एंड थ्रोट चेहरा फेस बैक ऑफ द हेड सिर का पिछला हिस्सा जो जमीन पे लगा हुआ है एंड ऑल द वे टू द टॉप ऑफ द हेड सिर की चोटी गहरी श्वास ध्यान पूरे शरीर पे अटेंशन ऑन द एंटायर बॉडी गहरी श्वास शरीर के वजन को जमीन पर छोड़ देंगे ड्रॉप योर वेट कंप्लीटली ऑन द फ्लोर एंड मेक योर सेल्फ लाइट हल्का अनुभव करेंगे गहरी श्वास से जारी कंटिन्यू टू टेक डीप ब्रेथ्स गो डीपर इन साइड राधे श्याम राधे श्याम जब भी आपको परिपूर्ण लगे हाथों की और पैरों की उंगलियों को हिलाएंगे मूव योर फिंगर्स एंड टोज जेंटली टेक द हैंड्स बियॉन्ड द हेड एंड स्ट्रेच योर सेल्फ हाथों को सिर से ऊपर ले जाए खींचे रिलैक्स ब्रिंग द हैंड्स डाउन फोल्ड एनी वन लेग किसी एक पैर को मोड़ दे उसे दबाते हुए दूसरी तरफ मुड़ जाए प्रेस द फुट एंड टर्न टू द अदर साइड 
एंड विदाउट एनी लोड ऑन योर बैक टेकिंग सपोर्ट ऑफ योर हैंड्स हाथों का सहारा लेते हुए वज्रासन में बैठ जाएंगे कंफर्टेबली सिट इन वज्रासन टुडे वी विल डू भस्त्रिका प्राणायाम और भस्त्रिका प्राणायाम यू कैन सिट इन वज्रासन और सुखासन अकॉर्डिंग टू योर फिजिकल कंडीशन लूज फिस्ट नियर द शोल्डर्स एल्बोस क्लोज टू द बॉडी ढीली मुट्ठी कंधों के पास कोनिया शरीर के पास As you breathe in, lift the hands up, open the fist. As you breathe out, lower the hands, close the fist. Shwas lete lete hand upper, mutti khole. Shwas chhodte chhodte hand niche mutti band. If you have any problems in your shoulders, you may not do up and down. You can simply place your hands on your lap and continue breathing. Breathing is little bit faster. Only little bit faster, not very fast. Okay. and we will do total three round two rounds every round 30 counts but whenever you feel you are done in the middle you can stop there take rest and wait for others let's get ready hands in position take a normal breath in breathe out take a deep breath in breathe out completely let's start bhastrika together breathe in relaxed and observe the sensations in your body sharir mein ho rahe anubhav par dhyan denge Let's get ready for the second round of Pastrika. दूसरी फेरी के लिए तैयार एक साधारण श्वास अंदर बाहर एक गहरी श्वास अंदर और पूरी तरह से खाली शुरू करते हैं भस्त्रिका एक साथ श्वास अंदर relax and observe the flow of energy sharir mein ho rahe urja ke pravah par dhyan denge Let's come out of Vajrasan with the help of Urdhva Mukhaswanasan, a forward facing dog. Go back and sit comfortably in Sukhasan. Aram se Sukhasan me bed jaye. We will do Brahmari Pranayam. Or Brahmari Pranayam. Close your eyes with last three fingers. इंडेक्स फिंगर ऑन द फोर हेड आखिरी तीन उंगलियों से आंखें बंद 
तर्जनी माथे पर अंगूठे से कान बंद करेंगे एज यू ब्रीद आउट मेक हामिंग साउंड एंड ऑब्जर्व द वाइब्रेशन इन योर हेड जैसे श्वास बाहर छोड़ेंगे भिन्न भिन आने वाली आवाज करेंगे मधुमक्खी की आवाज जैसे और सिर में जो वाइब्रेशन होंगे उस पर ध्यान देंगे टोटल सिक्स राउंड छ राउंड इट्स गेट रेडी हैंड्स इन पोजीशन टेक अ नॉर्मल ब्रेथ इन टेक अ नॉर्मल ब्रेथ इन ब्रीद आउट Take a deep breath in and start. Relax. And observe yourself and perceive the change that happened in you. your body your mind you have absorbed a lot of energy in yoga yoga is a charging practice unlike all other practices where we exert we discharge okay before move, moving on to meditation let's do hasyasan and close we will do ucha atta hasyasan for that raise your hands up it's important to curve your lips okay smile is important in hasyasan without smile your mind is not getting the signal okay there is a connection between your mind and your body so send that message of happiness to your mind raise your hands up okay we will go right and left also so do it up along with me hands up curve your lips feel happy one two three ha 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 Hasyasan, we will be taking those all the Hindi alphabets. A A E E O. Okay, get ready. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A E E E E E E E E E E O O O O O O
Thank you, Ganeshji, for the session. Now we will move to our second segment, that is meditation. One of the most common benefit of meditation is stress and anxiety relief. But do you know meditation also helps in reducing age-related memory loss? When we reach the first time, we have a big group that we have to do with our memory. तो ध्यान करने से उसमें हम रोक सकते हैं उसको डिले कर सकते हैं। So as we age, we tend to forget more. This is normal age-related issue, but meditation can bring improvements in attention and clarity of thinking and also may help keep your mind young. आप ध्यान करने से mentally युवा भी रह सकते हैं। Studies in people with age-related memory loss have shown that kirtan or mantra chanting improves performance on neuropsychological tests. Kirtan or mantra chanting, which we do, it is good for our brain, for neuropsychology. It is good for these scientific studies. So, you think that we are doing how good we are doing. So, furthermore, a review found that we are doing so good for our brain, for neuropsychology. Preliminary uh, evidence that multiple meditation styles can increase attention, memory, and mental quickness in older people. In addition to fighting normal age-related memory loss, meditation can at least partially improve memory in patients with dementia. Just ko dementia ki problem hai, usme bhi un patients ke upar bhi jab study kiya gaya, to dekha gaya ki dhyan unme bhi sudhar la sakta hai. So with this information, let's start today's Roop Dhyan under Swamiji's guidance. Sit in a meditative posture, your back straight, body relaxed, eyes closed. Relax the eyelids. Relax the tongue within your mouth. Relax your body. Calm the mind. Visualize a very beautiful valley between two hillocks. A little stream flowing by, the undulating grass and wind with the aroma of the trees. The mere thoughts of them are healing your mind. See yourself lying on the grass in this valley, breathing in health. You could be sitting as well. See yourself breathing in deeply, physically alongside. Bring your awareness to your breath, the atmosphere around you, the fresh air is charged with good ions. What the yogic scriptures call pranic energy, The pranic energy is what causes movement in all things and the atmosphere is rich in it. See yourself breathing it in. As you breathe in, you tap in and assimilate the pranic energy within yourself. 
it spreads from your lungs to the bloodstream continue the deep breathing repeatedly bringing pranic energy to your lungs assimilating it within your body see this energy spreading in your body healing your organs and cells and tissues think your body is acquiring a light blue tinge the aura from your body is bluish depicting good health wellness well-being positivity there's a bluish light coming out of your body tell yourself now i am healthy and well I have so many organs and glands in my body. They are all healing themselves. They are my set of friends given to me by the creator. Speak to the bodily organs. May you all be well. Like the orchestra with many musicians, please do your respective parts so I may be in health. to fulfill the purpose of my life send positivity to your organs keep positivity in your mind and heart you are feeling good you are feeling contented you are feeling joyous waves of happiness are going from your heart and mind to the bodily organs making them all resonate in health making them all function with good energy think your whole body is healthy and well Pay attention to the cells in your body now. Trillion, thirty-seven trillion cells. They are tingling with energy. Again, keep breathing, and see the cells in your body tingling with energy. in your intellect keep this faith my body has the capacity and ability 
to combat invading pathogens to finish them off the defense systems of my body are well visualize the wbc's the white blood corpuscles these are created in your bone marrow they travel in the blood they receive instructions in the lymph nodes they are your warriors they have memory cells helper cells they have combating cells i am well equipped to face the world that is the design of this body by the creator let me lead a balanced life a balanced lifestyle let me keep positive thoughts let me eat wholesome food be healthy claim good health and make my life a success rub your palms physically together now place your palms on the eyes relax the eyelids relax the eyelids i'll say that again once again relax your eyelids dissolve all tension from the eyelids relax the tongue within your mouth relax your mind now you are calm and peaceful and healthy and well R- gently rub your eyes with your fingers with, and then with a few blinks you open your eyes With this beautiful divine meditation session, we have come to our last segment of today's session. So now I invite Mr. Vikas to take over for the wellness session. So yesterday we have talked about mobility and stability. Uh, we have talked about flexibility and mobility are both terms. used to improve our range of motion of joints especially mobile joints and stability the ability to maintain or control joint movements of or position so they both go in hand to hand we have checked also one example if you are able to stay stand then we are able to walk side effects of stability and mobility it increases the chances of injury such as back aches joint pain st- stiffness of joints restricted movements dislocation of joints we have talked about arthritis also yesterday uh, it is the swelling and tenderness of one of more joints so what are the tips to avoid in general joint pains always start with warm up exercise and end the session with stretching well balanced diet adequate amount of calcium vitamin k d omega 3 that helps us for stronger and healthy bones and even joint we need to be active and pay attention most of the time to our posture specifically when we are sitting in front of desk or lying at couch and scrolling social media this are the time we just go in auto mode we need to pay attention to our postures 
So I would like to thank again, Dr. Alka Singh for providing wonderful content, which is easy to understand and it is logical in the manner. So as we have started seven days challenge, that itself says that we have understood and value the importance of health. As said in Sanskrit, Sarira Madhyam Kalu Dharma Sadhana. Your body is your vehicle to achieve success in your life, be it spiritual or material. It is the essential to keep your body well. More importantly, gut is the center part of your total health. If our gut is not in balance, then this body becomes house of many diseases. Now, by setting a proper intention, we want to start the today's session. We'll initially talk about core strength and majorly we'll talk about gut. So what is gut? What are microbiomes? What is the connection between gut and mind? What are the symptoms of unhealthy gut? We'll check also what affects good, but, uh, good gut bacteria, how to maintain good gut health. These are the topics what we are going to cover in the next slides. So your core is the center part of your body. It includes your pelvis, lower back, hips, stomach. Core exercises in general improve your balance and stability. Core exercise train the muscles in your core to work in harmony. This leads to better balance, steadiness and called stability. As we have seen yesterday, stability is important when you are playing on the field or doing any regular activity. In fact, most sports and other physical, physical activity depending on stable core muscle. If we don't have good core strength muscle, then what happens? Maybe we will find a back pain, poor postures we will get, decreased athletic performance. We can see here, in one of the example demonstrated in this slide, strong core muscle helps us to be balanced and stay in upright posture, whereas weak abdominal muscles leads to poor posture, which stresses the joint and over the time it can lead to back pain issue or shoulder issue. So after that, now we are interested to know more about what are the exercises and how to stimulate our core. So, there are a couple of exercises I've mentioned here. Plank, Falakasan, Boat Position, Navasan, Mirbhadrasan, Warrior Position. These are the good posture and yoga exercises to strengthen your core. Now moving ahead to the major part of our discussion, which is good uh, gut health. So today, in general, number of people affected by gut issue. And that number is increasing and increasing. The common digestive disorder are indigestion, constipation, celiac disease, peptic ulcer, and many more. And due to this, it is required to look at good health, good gut health more closely. First, let us understand what is gut. This term refers to digestive tract, or GI tract and alimentary canal. This tract is about 30 meters, 30 feet long muscular tube, which runs from our mouth to anus. It includes mouth, esophagus, stomach, pancreas, liver, gallbladder, small intestine, colon, and rectum. So your gut is host of about 100 trillion microbiome, kind of a collection of bacteria. They perform functions such as digesting food, absorbing nutrients, regulating metabolism, immune function, removing toxins from the body. A diverse and mixed combination of bacteria is considered healthy. A certain number of bad bacteria is also normal, but the situ situation can become wrong or even worse when the bad bacteria increases, like you know, viruses, fungi and it causes inflammation, infection, and other heart and health risks. So we want to know about, and somewhere in our life, we have seen that uh, 
when we are anxious, we feel butterflies in our stomach. So there is a connection between the brain and gut. An interesting fact about gut that it connects with GI tract and that affect one another profoundly. Gut is governed by its system of neurons called anetaric nervous system. It's also called second brain. So with 100 million now cells, that is constant communi communicating with our mind. There are some incidents that we have felt, you know, as I said earlier, butterflies in our stomach. Before public speech, if you are nervous or excited, uh, that reflects in our bowel movement. Sometimes people feel urge to visit also was from before public speech. This is because the digestive system is overly sensitive to our emotion, especially anger, anxiety, sadness, extreme happiness, and many more. So pay attention. The gut produces over 90% of our body's serotonin, the hormone that regulates our emotion. And this is why physiological and psychological factor play a role in GI disorder. Our gut is one of the main defense system in the body. First, the stomach acid and enzymes in the gut help sterilize the food and protect the body from infection. Second, 70% of the cells that make up our immune system are in gut. We thoda or detail mein jate hai. I hope ki you are following this. Thoda technical ho raha hai. Aur isko hum saral bhasa mein samajhte ki ek small in intestine ka ye picture hai. Aur leaky gut kya hota hai. To usme epithelial cell karke rehta hai. Ye mera cursor hai. Waha pe ye cell dik raha hai. और ये है अन अनहेल्दी एपिथेलियल एलियल सेल्स तो उसके ऊपर कुछ प्रोटीन का लेयर रहता है वो बैरियर की तरह यूज होता है और वो हमारे ब्लड स्ट्रीम में टॉक्सिन जाने से बचाता है जब ये बैरियर टूट जाता है तो आप देख पा रहे हो इधर कि ये सेल टूट गया है या फिर गैप बढ़ गया है तो इसमें से अनडाइजेस्टेड फूड का पार्टिकल antibiotics, particle, toxins, and many more things can penetrate in our blood, blood stream. And this results in considerable damage to health. Sometimes we go in supermarket and watch one of the products and its nutrition value. It is good to always watch the nutrition value before we consume anything. But the more important is that the nutrition absorbs and rate. And that varies from person to person. How healthy your GI tract and gut is, that is the more important here. So we have understood the digestive tract and it is epicenter of our metabolic activity. We have seen its effects, effects uh, that affects our physiology, metabolism, digestion, hormonal function and immunity. So for optimal health, your gut must function seamlessly. Naturopathy mein har bimadi ka jad humare imbalance gut ko hi bataya gaya hai. Now let us talk about the symptoms of unhealthy gut. Some of the most common symptoms of unhealthy gut in people are digestive problem, constipation, diarrhea, bloating, nausea, heartburn and vomiting. These are just few of them. Sometimes we may experience unintentional weight changes, sleep disturbance, fatigue, food intolerance like lactose, skin problems, hormonal fluctuations. These are the symptoms of unhealthy gut. Latest research are indicating that anxiety and depression are also related to gut. So, we have understood the importance of healthy gut. To keep the healthy gut, there are, it is important to keep the good bacteria. And how to, what affects, first of all, let's check what affects the good bacteria. Processed foods, junk foods, overdoing also spicy foods, dairy products, some of them are tolerant to uh, lactose. 
So dairy product can also cause them. Medications, excessive intake, intake of antibiotics, anti-inflammatory, acid blocking drugs, and many more. Even stress can cause uh, stress can cause the imbalance in our gut. Infection of stomach, bacteria, yeast, if they over, overgrow, then it can create also imbalance in our gut. So maintaining good gut health requires three pillars. First is regular exercise, second is balanced diet, and third is good sleep. Probiotics. Probiotics is one of the major and important uh, a nutrition value that we should keep it in our diet. Bacteria rich fermented food such as yogurt, cheese. If you have access to kefir, then you can have that also. Prebiotics, which is called also fibers, which can be found in fruits, vegetables. Is a good for constipation can be helpful. Adding spices like ginger, asafoetida, carom seed, those are helpful for nausea. Even having chamomile tea to calm the digestive system. It is the best time uh, just before bed to drink chamomile tea. Trifala, it is the Ayurvedic formula uh, that is also keeping our healthy gut line and which keeps the healthy barrier. So we have talked about today gut microbiome, what causes imbalance in gut, and how to keep the balance in gut. So one of the recipe of the day is that boiled moong dal or khichdi is the kind of a low and light staple food what we can have it when we have imbalance or when we feel some movement in uh, gut. Again, this can vary from person to person, but this is a general advice. Khichdi with ghee can be also uh, it can work also wonderfully. Superfood like ginger, as I told earlier, chamomile tea and trifala can be taken uh, to keep the healthy gut line. Uh, what are the diet correction what we can make? Avoiding junk foods and overdoing spicy food. As Ganesh Vaya demonstrated today, Vajrasan, after lunch or heavy meal, uh, you can opt for you know 10 minutes to stay in Vajrasan that helps our digestive system. And intermittent fasting, even modern science now proving the result of intermittent fasting. We'll talk more in detail on day six, but keep in mind that intermittent fasting is working like a miracle for having healthy gut life. So on this note, uh, we are done for today's topic. And we will meet tomorrow to learn more about healthy heart. So thank you for your participation. And now I pass it to Sailiji. Radhe Radhe. Today was day four. Now three days are still uh, left. So, and uh, hopefully you are also getting the handouts. And do not forget to fill up the feedback forms to send us your feedbacks. Now we'll see you tomorrow. Till then, have a happy day and healthy day. Radhe Radhe. Thank you.